we're going to make a fun musical instrument project called the pan, pan flute. flute. Do you play any musical instruments? Yes, I do. What do you play? The piano. The piano. Did it take you a long time to learn how to play the piano? Yeah. Did you have to practice and practice? Mm, yes. I played the piano too, and I've played ever since I was your age. And I practiced and practiced for years and years, and I still even practice now. So when we make our pan flute today, you're going to have to practice playing it. Do you know I play another instrument? It is the harmonica. I do. I play the harmonica. <laughs> so the harmonica is kind of like a pan flute because you're putting air in here, but did you see how it's blowing air in, straight in? Mm -hmm. The pan flute is actually going to be air blowing straight across. There was a Greek god named Pan, and there's a sculpture of him playing the pan flute. So that's how it got his name, pan flute, because it was named after him. But there's a lot of cultures that make pan flutes, and they make them out of all sorts of different things. Today we're making ours out of? Straws. Straws, but other people make theirs out of pipe, bamboo. The way it works is you're blowing air across the top of this, and it's vibrating, and that it's resonating, the air is resonating with the tube and making a sound. And did you know the length of the tube will tell us how, what the sound sounds like? So if you have a long tube, that sounds different than a short tube. So watch this. This tube is longer and it's going to sound like this. This tube is shorter. It's going to sound like That's very, very good. So the longer it is, the lower the note. The shorter it is, the higher the note. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. That's called fundamental frequency. That's kind of a big term to know, mm -hmm. but all that we really have to know is when the tube is longer, it makes a lower note, and when it's shorter, it makes a higher note. Let's see what's in our kit today, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Straws, two big popsicle sticks, washi tape, a ruler, glue dots, and a card. On top of everything you have in your kit, you'll need a pair of scissors, a marker, or a pen. Now, just like with any Winkle project, if I start getting ahead of where you are, you can always pause the video and catch up to where I am, and then press play when you're caught up. So don't worry if I'm going too fast, because you can always pause the video. All right, first I want you guys to grab your ruler and lay it down and get your marker. Our first straw is going to be at four and a half inches. So see we have the inches here on this side. Inch, one, two, three, four. So four and a half is the long line that's right in between four and five. So make a mark right there so that we know where four and a half is. Every tube is going to be a half an inch shorter. That's called a half an inch increment. That's a big word, which means every time you switch to a different tube or straw, it's going to be a little bit different, half an inch difference. So Ella, we're gonna mark all the half inch increments before we cut our straws. So we have four and a half inch, what's after that? Four. Four, and then? Three and a half. Three and a half. Three. Three, and we have five straws. So one, two, three, four, two one left. Two and a half. Yep, at two and a half. Very good, so smart Ella. Take your first straw, and it doesn't matter what color it is, and you're going to line the top of it up with your ruler and measure four and a half inches. That's our first mark, and you're going to cut it right at four and a half inches. <laughs> Good. Now we're going to put our straw up here out of the way, but keep it in order because we want to be able to know which order it goes in later. Now I'm going to take my next straw. Line it up with the top of the ruler and measure it at four inches. Cut it and put it right next to my four and a half inch straw. My next one is at three and a half inches. Cut it and put it there. The next one is three inches. I'm gonna mark it there. And then my last one, I'm going to measure at two and a half inches. Cut. 
then they're all in place. Okay, you're all done with your ruler and your scissors for right now. We are going to decorate our popsicle sticks. Now this isn't necessary to make the pan flute work, but I always think it's really fun to make something a little bit more fancy. So we have some washi tape here. Now washi tape is not that sticky if you're really trying to stick something together, but it's just sticky enough to stick to your popsicle sticks. You're gonna start on one end on the back side. That's gonna be the side that nobody sees. You're gonna wrap it around and down, rub it nice and tight, flip it over to the other side and cut it, or you can just tear it. We're gonna repeat that with the other popsicle stick. Ah. Oh, I'm excited. We have our straws cut and our popsicle sticks decorated, and now it's time to put our pan flute together. Woohoo! Woo! Okay, turn your popsicle stick over so you see the back side of it, and we're gonna get our glue dots. Now, if you've never used glue dots before, they're super, super sticky. And they stick to everything. So try not to touch them with your finger because they'll get stuck to your finger even. We need five glue dots. So unroll one, two, three, four, five. We're only touching that wax paper part. Try not to touch the glue dots. You have extra glue dots in case this part messes up. Get five glue dots, cut it, Put this roll aside, and we're going to take this strip and put it flat against our popsicle stick. That whole time, I tried not to touch my glue dots at all. Now I'm going to lay it flat on my popsicle stick and rub it nice and tight, good. And then you're gonna pull up that wax paper, and you have five glue dots on your popsicle stick. Okay, put this popsicle stick next to your straws because you need that out of the way. And we're gonna do the same thing to our next popsicle stick. We're gonna unroll one, two, three, four, five. Try not to touch the glue dots, only touch the wax paper. Cut, turn it over. Okay, now take your largest straw, the one that's at four and a half inches, and we're gonna place it above your popsicle stick just a little bit. Now this is the only tricky part of this, and let me show you, about a half an inch, so this, remember this is a half an inch right there. So look on your straw at a half an inch, that's how much you want to be sticking up out of your popsicle stick, half an inch, okay? Now all of these are gonna line up straight at the top, but the bottom will be incrementally smaller. See how they're going stepping up like that? That's in half an inch increments. Okay, so they're all lined up at the top and they're getting smaller and smaller at the bottom. Wow, very good, Ella. Okay, now we take our popsicle stick with the glue dots, lay it, and make a straw sandwich. <laughs> you ready to eat it? I'm oh, not, I'm not, not ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our pan flute is done. And I wanna show you guys how to make noise with this pan flute. If we're trying to make a very quiet song, you just blow, remember, you're blowing across, not down, you're blowing across. Now, if you want to make a little louder of a noise, you plug up the bottom of that straw with your thumb. So we have one more thing left in our kit. What is it? It is the card. What are we gonna do with the card? Wait, we can write our own song. That's right. So there's two songs that you can write. You can put the name of the song right here. My name is gonna be The Winkle. <laughs> That's gonna be my first song. So what you need to do is number your straws. One, two, three, four, five. Mine won't or you can that. number it on the washi tape. One, two, three, One, two, four, five. 
Okay, and these numbers will coordinate with your songs. Three, three, four, five, four, three. Let's see what that sounds like. Continue my song. Are we ready for the Winkle song? This is my first try. Let's see how we do. What do you think? Did you have so much fun making your pan flute today? I loved it. I loved it too. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. I hope you had so much fun. If you love the Winkle, make sure to tell your friends about it so they can join us too. And post a video of your song. We want to hear it. So tag us at the Winkle Crate so we can see what you've made. Bye, everybody. Bye.